what's your make uh, your take on this? The the cartel saying that this was an accident and they're handing over five of their members. I mean, it seems like a little too late, too little. A little too late to do the right thing now. You know, we're, we're dealing with uh, an open border. A border's been erased by the policies of this president, basically turning over uh, our the border of the United States of America to the drug cartels. It's been going on for 24, 25, 26 months now. And uh, we've got a lot of dead people. 100,000 plus Americans dead of fentanyl. Almost a thousand migrants themselves, bodies found on the border. Out of control, chaos, anarchy, forced uh, the, the counties and the, and, the, and the cities and our great state of Texas forced to deal with this problem. And, and it's a creation of the Democrat Party, of the Biden administration and DHS Secretary Mayorkas. And, uh, the Biden administration is the best friend of the, of the drug cartels. It is time, and I'm saying this right now, I've been saying it actually for a couple of years, it is time that we designate these cartels as foreign terrorist organizations, that we have a, 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 an authorization to use military force against them. It's obvious that the, that the government of Mexico is simply helpless against the, these people or they're in league with them. Uh, it's become a narco state. It's out of control. American citizens are dying. It's time to start uh, going after these cartels, taking out their members that are doing bad things, taking out their, their laboratories, uh, manufacturing these drugs that are killing our children, and uh, simply treating them the way we would do any other foreign terrorist group that's killing Americans, like ISIS or al-Qaeda. It's high time, and we ought to do it. Are very loud, obviously, as we see what's happening. Uh, and your city, as you, your state, as you mentioned, has uh, bared the brunt of a lot of the surge, the invasion at our border. Uh, Mayor Eric Adams of New York City um, actually had some comments about our vice president, the so called border czar, who's never been to the border. Um, let's listen to what he says and why she hasn't gone there yet. One person should we should be looking at. Uh, it is often stated that it's the role of the VP. That's too much in her portfolio to be focused on just doing that decompression strategy. She's too busy. He no longer wants to be a sanctuary city. These comments, uh, as someone who is right there in Texas uh, hearing, and as you just articulated, um, seeing the deaths that are occurring, what do you make of that? Well, the mayor is a day late and a dollar short, too. I mean, he didn't start squawking until uh, he began to get plane loads and bus loads of uh, immigrants that were Ill illegally uh, had entered this country. Uh, and then he started, it started being a problem of his and his, uh, his city. We've seen other, other Democrat mayors uh, say essentially the same thing. Um, and you know what? What he needs to do, he needs to go talk to the White House. He needs to demand that President Biden and Secretary Mayorkas uh, and Vice President Harris fix this problem. It could be taken care of in a matter of days if they would reinstitute the policies that were developed under the, uh, under the Trump administration. MPP, Remain in Mexico, Title 42, Safe Third, uh, third Countries, uh, Interior Enforcement. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of illegal aliens, many of them criminals, and have with records convicted criminals that are inside our country and have have uh, orders to be uh, deported back to their home countries and this administration simply is not doing it our border's been erased mm -hmm. and this is going to take down the greatest nation on earth uh if we don't do something about it one of the issues we Congressman, have to Congressman, take one of the, the issues, bull by the horns one of the sir? issues has been the this just unstoppable flow of fentanyl across the border into basically every community in this country. But if you listen to the White House, they say they're doing a good job tackling fentanyl. Take a look. Because of the work that this president has done, because of what we've done specifically on fentanyl at the border, it's at historic lows, historic levels. <laughs> well, one of those is true. Historic lows isn't true. Historic levels could be true because it seems like we're at a record high when it comes to fentanyl in this country. John, since the uh, this year, this fiscal year alone, since October, uh, 12,000 pounds, six tons 
of fentanyl. And look, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor of dental surgery. I, I'm a health care provider. Fentanyl is a great drug. It belongs in the operating room. It is killing our young people between the ages of, of 18 and 45, the main cause of death. And for her to stand up there, Kareen uh, Jean-Pierre, and say that, that fentanyl is at the lowest levels because of what uh, uh, of the great policies of her boss, uh, it is, it is, it's just, I don't know what planet she lives on.